I'd like you all to imagine that you're at the horse races in the 19th century, coming off an enormous race with a pocket full of cash and time to kill. You walk back into the betting parlor with some options. Grab a drink or bet on a game of billiards to, to pass the time. This is where pool was first played. Pool means a collective bet, so we have pool room, where, where bets were placed on, on horse races and where the first tables were placed, according to Mike Shambles. <coughs> As you know, my personal interest in this game led to the research and the history, as well as the game of nine ball. I feel like everyone here is familiar with the game of pool, but we also have a lack of history for the game. And because America really only plays eight ball, it's crucial that we learn about nine ball as well. I'd like to start with the history of the table. Croquet was a pool, was, pool was a croquet game played outdoors in Europe in the 15th century. When the game moved indoors, green cloth was used to represent the, the grass that was played, played on previously. The first tables had flat pieces of wood that ran the perimeter of the table whose only uh, purpose was to keep the balls from falling off. They resembled ri ri river banks in that they, in that like a river held water in, so this held the, the, ball, the wood held the balls in. It was found eventually that the balls would bounce off the rail, and so we have the bank shot. In the 18th century, the table's size was standardized to a two to one ratio, and the rails were to be made of rubber rather than wood. Next, I'd like to discuss the cue and the chalk. Balls were pushed and shoved with a wooden stick called a mace, and it had an end on it. Now this worked fine as long as, long as the ball wasn't against the rail. If it were, it made the shot very difficult, and so players would turn the mace around and use the handle to make the shot easier, according to Bill Jameson. The handle of the mace is, was called coup, which means tail, which is where we get the name cue. In the 1800s, the British improved the cue by putting a leather covering over the tip, and then again by figuring out if, the, if they scratched a layer of chalk over the end, you could increase friction. This new, group, this new grip allowed the English players to control the ball with spin. And when the English players showed Americans that they could control the ball with spin, the term English was coined by American players. This is interesting because nowhere else in the world is sp spinning the ball to control it called English, only in America. Following the history of the game itself, in the late 1700s to the early 1900s, English billiards was the popular game played with only three balls. English billiards evolved into a popular game still played today called snooker or snooker ball. In America, until the late 1800s, American four, four ball was the dominant game. It was played on a four pocket table with two white balls and two red ones. From four ball, two games uh, were derived, straight rail and American 15 ball. 15 ball is the closest game to the 8 ball played today. 15 ball turned to 8 ball in roughly 1900, and finally, 20 years later, we have 9 ball pool. I'd like to start with the way 9 ball is racked. Unlike 8 ball that's racked in a, tri in a triangle, 9 ball is racked in a diamond. Now the only rules for racking 9 ball is that the 1 has to be at the top, and that the 9 must be in the center. After that, all balls can be placed randomly. However, many players uh, place the even balls, the two down the left side, followed by the four, which is purple, and then green, which is the six, eight at the bottom, Three ball, which is red on the right. Five ball. And last, the seven. A legal break consists of hitting the one ball first and either pocketing a ball or pushing at least four balls to the rail. In nine ball, the eight ball is just another ball. So as we all know, to win, you can win in eight ball by making the eight ball on the break. But in nine, in nine ball, you must make the nine, which makes sense because it's the center ball. Now the interesting thing about nine ball is the balls must be made in sequential order, from the lowest to the highest. So when players are playing, for, for a legal shot to happen, the cue ball must strike the lowest ball on the table first. The game all ends when a legal shot pockets the nine ball. 
What makes nine ball so unique is no player is ever in the lead. The only ball that matters is the nine. One player could make balls one through eight, miss on the nine, and lose if the next player makes it. To conclude, both equipment we use in billiards and the game we play have come a very long way. In the 1920s, men met in pool rooms to loiter, smoke, fight, bet, and play. But times have changed. Imagine yourself now, not at the horse races, but in a, ball, in a bar or pool hall, playing with friends in a casual setting, or with money down in a more serious setting. Either way, this great, this great sport and the unique game of nine ball are important to both the history of England and the United States.